Hey, welcome to another video. It is another night of working on this duck bill, and I'm sorry I did not think this would be a three part plus series. I do not know what I'm doing. Really winging it. Use these videos that are slightly boring as a way to know what not to do when you do this on your 350Z or BRZ or whatever two door cars you have. So it's been a while and like I'm talking 24 plus hours and there are still some parts of this Bondo that are not that hard. I was talking to Dallas, I was texting him, probably didn't put enough hard in it. Easier to work with, but doesn't dry. So like this corner, kind of mushy. You know, like this stuff is super hard. Hard, 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 hard. Kind of soft, kind of mushy right here. This is all super hard on the back. I just had this fan blowing on it, and this is super hard. So I'm hoping this comes off with the sander. Um, I'm gonna give it a whirl, see how much I can sand off. Dallas, if you're watching this, I know you wanted to fight me if I started sanding it, but since you could come over tonight, I really have got to do it. So uh, after that, like. All right, I'm just gonna be straight up honest. I peeled some of it off, it was still so wet right here. So I'm worried that we put it on way too thick, which we probably did. I'm gonna watch some videos right now on YouTube on how to bondo. Didn't even do that before we started, probably a stupid idea, but. Oh well, enough talk. I'm gonna watch some videos, educate myself, and then make a video for you guys on how to fix this, hopefully. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. As you can see, the pad is absolutely toast and it's almost soft now just because there's so much Bondo on it. This is the problem with putting that much Bondo on. I'm learning the hard way. Gonna go ahead and stop here for the night. Looks tattered and beat up. Middle of Bondo work, body shop look. Some parts are dry, some aren't. Not the best, but we're gonna work on it till we get it right. It's about almost 1 a.m. Gonna stop here, start tomorrow morning, sand a little bit more maybe, and then hit it with a slight layer of Bondo and see if we can work it on a little slower. If you guys have any suggestions what we should do, or I mean what I should do, in the comments, that'd be great. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cam is not ready to work this early in the morning. Tanner just told me it's the top of the morning. It's about 6 a.m. We were supposed to take Tanner to the airport, but his flight did not work out. So now, we're working on Duckbill at 6 a.m. and I went to bed at 2 a.m. last night. So, <laughs> I am just gonna go ahead, I was talking to him. We probably didn't get enough harder and mix it up well, so I'm gonna get rid of all this gummy part of the Bondo because I'm learning from my mistakes and just scrape it off because there's no hardener in it so it's probably never going to dry right. So, here we go. Let me see if we can scrape it off. I'm just going to see if we can dry it faster. Um. Saving this right here. This is good. This is really good. All we need is another thin layer or two, and that would get rid of that edge. Yeah. But at least that that's... edge right there will go away with a thin layer there. A little more through here to make it smoother. <laughs> that's bomb. Super bomb. I know, edgeless. 
beautiful. So we'll do a little more from like right here to here. to where you don't have that lip that flows. And then it'll go straight into here. And stop like right in that area. So we're gonna fill it Basically this side too. Basically fill this. So this little guy, that section, and then that section. Looking pretty smooth. Game plan is to let it dry a little more. We're gonna go buy some 36 grit, 80, and some more 100 to use on the sanding block and not just our power sander. So we're gonna go to Ace Hardware right now. Back to the promised land. Hi, Bubby. <laughs> you were just adorable. <laughs> you know. Mm. Man, options are so limited with this one. I play myself. Don't buy this one. Don't buy this one. Buy this one. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, You guys need sanding blocks, sandpaper, sander, bondo, everything is in the description. There's some Amazon links and you guys can find it for super cheap. This is actually $8 on Amazon. The cheapest place we found it was Ace for 12 so Amazon is much cheaper. For what? For the bondo. Oh yeah. Are you wanting to sand that by hand? Yes. Okay, do you want my block? Yes. <laughs> This is the crazy stuff. I don't know if you guys can 60. see it on camera. It's 36. No, this is a 60. I didn't do the 36. Oh, that still is very aggressive. Yeah. So what are you gonna do here? I'm just gonna take a little bit of extra off the roughness. The edges are pretty much knocked down. I'll just try to take a little of the junk off that doesn't need to be there. All the way around. All right. Time to mix the Bondo, and by looking at that, the last two I held on to the can for like at least two months, both of them, and both of them are way harder than that. That's like liquid. So that could be another issue that we didn't know about. The first time. In the channel's history, we wear gloves. This is important. If you watch the previous parts, we didn't put enough of this. So we're gonna do straight across a line. Boom. Mix it up super well. What did he say happens if you don't mix it up well? When it dries, it like leaves like holes or something. I don't know. Get air gaps. Air gaps, that's what it is. Tanner might be better at this than most people because he does, has a lot of drywall experience and using mud, so you can already tell he has the finesse. And he understands like, earlier we talked about spreading it even and using the flat edge of the spatula to fill the gap and not force it. Is that how you'd say it? Yes. All right, Dallas, if you're watching, See what Tanner's got on you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh! Just murdered your game, Dallas. I can't do any better, so I can't talk, but we are looking good. Links in the description, you'll actually find lists on Amazon to like parts and tools we use all the time. So if you're just getting into working on cars, I have a, a whole list of things that we use in the garage all the time. All right, what's happening now? Just checking gaps. So you can use a longer one if you want. And I'll let you know where you need to fill on your next thin layer. See a small gap right in the center of that? Mm -hmm all the way through, it's pretty consistent. 
It's a little bit bigger at this end. Use the higher grit sandpaper you have before it's dried 100% and it'll help knock this bigger edge off. Are you talking about a lower grit you mean? Uh, yes, lower grit, sorry. To knock what edge off? All this, this edge right here, any little imperfection that you have, excess, before it dries all the way. No pressure, just let it do what it wants to do. How long has it been? A couple minutes. It's already turning white. Oops. Tanner just did the first layer of sanding with the new Bondo. Where did it go? A lot better. A lot better. No heat gun needed. No heat gun needed. Let's show them the pad. We got a ton of pad left. We don't have anything sticking to it. So, are we done? Are we ready for the next coat already? Well, I'm gonna do from this section to this corner. I'm gonna do this little corner piece right here. Okay. Dry it, let it sand. And then I can go through and fill all these low spots where the sander doesn't hit. And then just make it a little bit wider, smoother transition. Cool. Still got quite a bit of a lip here, but less on my corner. Tanner just applied the second coat. We're looking more flat. And let this dry a little bit and then sand it again. Uh -huh. I'll take the high ridges off of it while it's still curing and then do a light sand over the whole thing again and finish this section back here. This is layer number two, two that Tanner did. We're looking really good now. What do you think, Trevor? Alright, I'm wheeling some tires over to the truck because we're gonna get these mounted because we just got the new, I mean the drift wheels powder coated. White from BGB Powder Coat in Tempe. Josh is the man. If you guys need powder coating in Phoenix, hit him up to get your wheels powder coated because the bronze wheels had some curb rash from the previous owner and they just looked not that good and they were JNC wheels and I didn't love them, but check it out. Zing, brand new wheels basically now. Edge is money, even like, look at that detail, like, looks so good. And then I'm thinking we'll do some sort of vinyl on a spoke and then have Karma cut out of it. And then we can do like an Instagram video where I drop the clutch and it's like So, I'm gonna get these mounted later today and pick up the Cosmos wheels with new tires. Just finished filming another video. Tanner's still working on the duck bill. We filmed a video where we tested this expensive rag or towel. If you guys haven't seen that video, it went out before this one, so I'm gonna leave a link at the end of this video to click on it and check it out. Tanner, what's the word? I'm prepping this bottom because you were filming another one, but I'm getting ready to do another layer up top. Cool. So you got the you got the uh, hood, the lat the hatch up. Yes. So you can get to this easier? Yes. Just grinding down that mushy part? Just grinding down that lot of excess. Okay. Bondo. Thank you. Tanner's got the Bondo on the table. Getting ready to put some hardener in it again. Fresh cardboard. We have some boxes we're cutting up. It's also useful to have. Or would you say you have to have gloves? Like it's a really... Yeah. Just so you're not trying to wear this stuff. It's Friday, and Friday is always a good day. And it's even a better Friday here because Advanced Clutch sent me their clutch so fast from when we stopped emailing. I really appreciate it. I was talking to Eric there over email. We're gonna open this because they have a special surprise for me and I'm so stoked to see it. This is going on the STI. This is perfect timing for the hot import night reveal. Even though you don't see the clutch, my clutch is about done. Just because it has 67,000 miles on it, it still works, but it does slip under high power a little bit. And from the starts, it's kind of wobbly. Ooh, 
special box already. Oh, oh snap. We got Karma engraved in it. Holy cow. That is awesome. It's even right there. We're going hard, guys. We're pushing the karma. This logo is going to be everywhere. I want you guys to rock it on your cars. I'm gonna. I'm working on some stickers right now, so you guys can get on your windows. Some oil slicks, some white and black. I want everyone to have just the smallest, minimalist karma sticker on their car. So when you're mobbing down the street, you know that they vibe with the channel. You know that they have a chill vibe, and just enjoy a good time. So. Advanced Clutch, thank you so much for sending this out. I'm excited to do an install. I'm going to Good Speed Performance. We're going to have Cody, their mechanic, install it as fast as he can and walk us through how to do this um, like a professional. And then maybe you guys will have the confidence to do it at your house. So we'll touch base with this again. And I'm going to show the unboxing one more time when we do the video to go over all the components. And uh, yeah, so back to our deck. Um, Tanner's making progress on this. It's looking amazing. This is going to be difficult, but we'll get it. So we're gonna work on the duck bill a little bit. We just fired up the barbecue actually because Dallas is here now. Um, got this heating up right now. Barbecue. What up? What up?